hear the good news first. Hey guys, this is Yara with Good News First, and I'm here with Nick Scott who is a world-class wheelchair bodybuilder and an overall amazing person. So, <laughs> so I've heard your story. Would you mind just sharing what happened? No, not at all. Back in August of 98, when I was 16 years old, I was in a car accident. My left front tire blew out. I rolled my vehicle five and a half times and I was ejected out of the driver's side window. My own car hit me in the back. It broke my back and damaged my spine. I got titanium rods in my back like this with bolts like that and the doctors diagnosed me as paraplegic and they said I would never walk again. How did you overcome that? At first I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got very depressed and I went down this very negative mindset where I was borderline suicide and my weight went up to 300 pounds and I hated who I was. I even asked the Lord, why me? But I felt like I never got my answer. But I realized, what's the one thing you gain from losing everything? And it's a perspective. It's a mindset, a perspective. I was thinking about the positive things, not the negative, and focus on what I could do versus what I couldn't do. And that was the first stepping stone to take my life to the next level. That's amazing. And I mean, you really have taken your life to another level. Nick was just telling me that he performed for the Pope a couple of weeks ago, remember when the Pope was in Philadelphia, so Nick was there performing with his ballroom dancing partner because he's a professional ballroom dancer. So tell me about all of your achievements. From that negative mindset, when I focused on positive, that led me to focus on what I could do, which was bench pressing. And that led me to being a two-time world powerlifting champion, which that led me to a bodybuilder, which led me to a ballroom dancer, and now a speaker, and it just keeps on going. And now the genie of the lamp. So. <laughs> It's just that mindset really helps take your life to the next level. It's focusing on the positive aspects of life, not the negative. There's so much bad stuff in the world and that we revolve around, it's that negative energy. You know, where energy goes, energy flows. And what you're doing is you're putting positive energy, that light, then when you show your light, other people will see that light and it'll, it'll pay it forward. So thank you so much and it's truly to be honored to be on your show. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much for being on it. My pleasure. <laughs>A guy named Martin Shkreli has been getting a lot of hate in the past few weeks because he famously raised the price of pills that help treat AIDS from $13.50 to $750 per pill. So now, the rival company has actually offered the same pill with the same active ingredients for only $1 a pop. So, take that. <laughs> A few days ago, the United Nations released the World's Women Report of 2015, which showed that women are now living longer and healthier lives, are better educated, and are also marrying later than they were 20 years ago. California Governor Jerry Brown signed a legislation making California the first state in the United States to have officially banned the use of routine antibiotics in livestock. California has now banned the breeding of killer whales in captivity, and they have also banned the buying, selling, or trading of killer whales in California, making the 11 killer whales that are currently held at the San Diego SeaWorld the last 11 killer whales in California. Maybe